back with another episode of Sports Dogs. Here with my boys, Jay and Rich. How y'all feeling, fellas? What up, what up? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Rich. Just waiting for tonight. Lakers take 3-1. Oh, yeah? That's what you're saying? Yeah. I feel it. I believe it. I believe I, it. I hope so. You know? Honestly, I thought we were going to be coming into this conversation with a 3-0 lead. But, you know, I got to get Portland they do. They did what they did. I got to where it's at. I mean, I, we'll talk about it later, but... I, I think I got this 2-2. Two, 2-2? Two. Two, two? We'll oh, yeah. We definitely want to talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into that, uh, let's get into this football. The Ravens, they cut Earl Thomas. That says a lot to me because, you know, especially because of what they cut him for. He got into it. And, like, I've been reading he wasn't really, like, a team. He wasn't really getting along with the team and stuff like that. And yeah, missing practices and shit. Yeah, coming up late and all that type of shit. And, like, from, like, what I got from the Seahawks, I always thought he was like a leader type. I always got the leader type of mentality from him and shit like that. So this was a big shocker to me. You know what I mean? That to me is one of those, I say, look at that CT stuff. Like when That's what I was thinking. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like when he had the incident with his girl. Oh, yeah, and the brother. Yeah, I was going to say that too. And then too, he had some yeah. other stuff that happened before, uh, before that. Didn't he flip off Pete Carroll too before leaving Seattle? Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. I think it's just a whole bunch of stuff. And that might be kicking in. Yeah, like just like AB. It, just, it didn't come out of nowhere. Like, you know what I mean? It just... Over when time, the game's yeah. on, over time, shit mm-hmm. starts adding up, and yeah. I think somebody needs to check him out. But I know we're interested in him, so hey, you know where he over. wants to go. Yeah, he won't go to Dallas. We all know that. But okay, potential landing spots. Well, let him go. They just they're just I, another I spot. Want those headaches. So it's just another. Like I said, man, about Dallas before the team looks good, they don't perform <laughs> well, so they can sit there and have all the talent they want. Yeah, because they've true. had top five talent the last few years. They always been the top. Team it ain't going into shit. the season in our division, but you know they always don't finish that way. So yes, it's never it's not a shocker to me, you know. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I was just having this argument the other day with my buddy. He's a Cowboys fan. He's like, "Oh, we're gonna win the division. We got a new coach." I'm like, <laughs> "Well, you got to think about it. The coach that you got had the best quarterback in the league for years, man, and he only produced one Super Bowl. Now you're giving him the the 16 best quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said they had the first the best quarterback. One of the best. A run. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like. For years. Now you got Dak Prescott. You think he about to work with Dak Prescott and that's going to be all willy-nilly and okay? It don't work like that. It don't work like that. So uh, Well, if you don't win with Dallas, then you can really tell what kind of coach he is because he had less talent in Green Bay and at least got that one Super Bowl in. Yeah. He's got probably the most talent he's ever had. That's going to say a lot about Aaron Rodgers too, you know what I mean? Cause oh, yeah. If, he, if they go out there and they lose, they're going to be like, oh, Aaron Rodgers is really that guy, you know? That's going to solidify well, him last as the year, they got to the what, NFC Championship before the loss yeah. of you guys? Yeah. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, he don't get enough respect. He doesn't. In the league. Because he doesn't really, he's not really surrounding himself with like these top major weapons and shit no. like that. He just goes with the guys he has and he does what he does, you know what I mean? Because like, mean- yeah, that man says I'm going. We need six games to win. He goes six. Get six you know what I mean? <laughs> and then people they uh they underestimate his his athleticism. Yeah, they underestimate it like hell. I'm like, yeah, he's not no Lamar Jackson. He's not even a Pat Mahomes or nothing like that. But he he can scramble. He, can he extend the play, and he is the fucking king of the luckiest shit in the world <laughs> when it comes to throwing the ball. He just literally throw it up, and his teammates come down with it like all the not all the time. But I say a good ninety five percent of the time. He gonna fuck around and go somewhere else and win the Super Bowl. Watch. You think what? Like how many years? Probably a year? Next year? Yeah, he probably leaves next year. I think it depends on um, the court the backup. Well, that is what they're gonna do, and then like him and the head coach. I know they don't get along too well. So, and, and years I, before they got rid of his quarterback coach, so he was already kind of unhappy too. So, but it's a pattern too. Mm-hmm. Everything Brett is starting Favre to go downhill for him. Came in, yeah. You know I mean, they drafted. I mean, they drafted Aaron Rodgers with Brett Favre. What you mm-hmm. think is going to happen with you? It's yeah. Jordan Love. It's a, it's a pattern. Mm-hmm. Well, we do, we still got to see the kid play. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that will be, but, but it know, is a pattern. But you know how it usually goes when a, a new head coach, especially a young head coach, he wants his own quarterback. Yeah. So he drafted. He got to make love. his own type of franchise. Yeah. He wanted him. So, so that's, especially moving up to the first round to get him. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. So I, all I, the receivers. Move, I don't think you had to move up. Honestly, I think he would have been fine. Especially if watching the draft, you think about it now. Like they weren't out there just snatching quarterbacks and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? To no. uh, you knew the three that were going to go. You know, and then what? What? Um. I think his name I think Herbert. The, yeah, he, he went like what six. I think the fear though was um, someone else would Jalen Hurts. So like if if uh, they somebody else took Jordan Love, then they're stuck with Jalen Hurts. I don't think they wanted Jalen Hurt. Mm. I think that's why they probably went. Oh there. yeah. Well, guess what? They gonna regret We're that decision. <laughs> hey, you gonna regret what? He gonna be sitting right there on the bench, brother. Well, yeah, because we got the man right now. But he gonna get his time. Trust me. If the man does what he usually does, <laughs> <laughs> he going to get his time. So, Wait, what gonna, man are we talking about? Carson Wentz. Oh. You know? It's time for a healthy His typical thing. His typical thing. The white man. So. <laughs> 
But yeah, so you know, it's a. I'm honestly, I'm looking forward to the NFL season if there is one. You know, it recently, like there is. Yeah. well, recently I just got reports. You know, I got I had some inside sources. sources. You know, and they they tell me uh, a lot of those positive tests were fake results and stuff like that. So Will Schefter here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Will Chef. Um, but yeah, like, so like now that like with that coming out, it kind of questions like, well, how many people are really sick and stuff like that. Like, I honestly think they are lying. Or I thought they were lying from the beginning, even though I said, like, oh, there's zero. But, like, that's kind of hard to just have zero people, especially just coming from out of the world. They weren't in no bubble, you know what I'm saying? They're still living their lives regular. So it was kind of hard to believe. But, I mean, they said it. But when the, the shit came out that they didn't have it, I believed it. And I was like, oh, yeah, I can, I, I can believe that they they faked some tests. They really, they really need sports going. They've seen how bad life is without sports. So they're going to do anything in their, like, possible like way they can do anything they're going to do anything especially the nfl that's a lot of money hell yeah <laughs> yeah they they definitely got a lot of money but yeah all the false negatives and false or was it false negative tests they had yeah. or false positive tests yeah i mean i don't see how they had that many to begin with everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing like you go home and be with your family and just go to practice and all that there should be no issues it's the ones that don't follow the rules. Don't have they don't follow the rules, but they don't have nothing to come home to. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. <laughs> you know what well, they're like, not a, they're, you, they're still young. They're they still got a lot like of the, money. Like the rookies, like if you watch yeah. the NFL Hard Knocks, they just the rookies don't have a house. So right. yeah. They stay in apartments and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, whatever dorm or dorm or whatever they have they're supposed to stay at. I mean, look at the dude from was it uh Seattle that got cut? The, the corner? Oh. He's trying to sneak oh. his girl. Right? I mean it's, he ain't got nothing. Was <laughs> it like two weeks into the fucking camp? They say he dressed her up. As one of the players. <laughs> He's hilarious for that. Like, yeah, just put this on. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. You'll be good. That's just telling me you weren't that good. Yeah, because they cut you. Yeah, they, yeah, they didn't really good. care for you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you were good. There's a lot of people that, that, that yeah, that violate <laughs> team <laughs> policies that I that's still on the team. You know what I mean? You obviously seen somebody do that shit to think of some shit like that. Mm, Lasha Queen, uh, so. uh, Shaquem Griffin coming there with somebody. They you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be like, <laughs> "Come on, guy. They're gonna delete the fucking footage and all that." So everything. It's like, yeah, I mean that does say a lot, but that's the NFL. Like you said, it's a freaking. It's a lot of money coming in, a lot of revenue. So they have to get something going. I feel like during the season, you're going to start seeing a lot more positive tests. I just want to see what coaches and teams do to adjust to that because, you know, football is the next man up type of sport. So, I like, in a sense, I like that a lot of people are getting the opportunity to play or they're going to get a lot of opportunity to play this year as to just sit on the sideline for most of the year being a freaking jersey. So, I think the NFL is going to be a little bit more exciting. You might even see a lot you of no games. Do you think there's going to be any be games po- postponed? No. I think unless, like, a team, you get the team where, like, half of the people get it or something like that, I feel That's like there's lot. just too many people. Yeah, I feel like there's too many people to like postpone it. Where there's like, say, like five people get it, they're just going to quarantine them five minutes, and then we move can't, on. Can't do what baseball doesn't just have a double header, right? Not That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm football. saying. So if it's not like a suspe- like a, a substantial number of people that have it, I feel like they're going to just whoever have post- it quarantine and they're going to keep moving I can on. Postponing games, you see it. I can't see uh, it. Switching your bye week up if they can. Maybe that. that yeah. yeah, I can see that. But, well, like more than one or two. I don't. It depends. Like, so I don't. It still depends on what are they doing as far as like safety precautions. Like, are mm-hmm. they having fans in there? Are they trying to do a small bubble? Or are you traveling all over the place? Like, what's the? They still haven't ironed all those details yeah. yet. So and I've seen a lot of people saying that they are like a couple owners saying they want fans and stuff like that too. Right. Just, so. so I mean, then it's then it's dependent. Like, well, how's the Raiders say they're not going to have nobody for full season? And another team says we're gonna have twenty percent for the season. Like, how does that work out? How do you determine which is which is okay? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, how do you say is it's cool to have twenty? It's cool to have fifty? It's cool to have. Is there no one allowed like field level? Yeah, everyone's like second deck in yeah. there. Okay, you got to think about that. The smaller teams, they're gonna be like, yeah, we want fans because that's how they get all their money. You know what I mean? Or most of their money is through the fans, and they're gonna get a lot more money if they let fans in because a lot of other teams aren't gonna be letting fans in. Could so you temperature people check? Gonna be taking the uh, everybody before they go in. I yeah. would do it like Vegas. Like temperature, everybody, if it doesn't, if you don't pass, you can't go. Yeah. Period. Period. Get your refund. I mean, but then I think you should have to buy your ticket at the stadium if they do that. Yeah. You have to buy your ticket at the stadium. So they temperature check you before you even go waste your can time. Can you even test them? Is there a fast enough test? At the casinos, Shit, it takes, you just sit there standing in front of the thing for a second and you walk through. It takes an hour before Corona to get into the stadium. Yeah, you should, yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, you're not allowing everybody into the stadium. No, yeah, know. so it's just, I mean, shit, just have them stand in front of that little machine. They got the money to fucking get the machine, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm saying, like, bam even, even if their temperature is normal, it doesn't mean they don't have COVID, right? 
Well, I mean, I mean you shit, your, your but you're already taking on. that chance anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah, because you shoot the that little gun. Yeah, you know, check your shit. Just put a going. plexiglass around the whole field. And then, <laughs> and then, I mean, you, I'm pretty sure they're still going to require a mask. And then, like, they probably tell you to require, like, go wear your mask when you go to the bathroom yeah. or you go to concession stands. No and then beer. take it off when you are, like, around your... Because I'm pretty sure you're not going to let fans sit so close to each other. I think that's well. what they say is they're going to... You just got to wear your mask while you're in the stadium or whatever. And like, no alcohol? I, think, sure I mean, to drink, you're, you're okay, but... I'm yeah. saying I don't think this should oh, sell alcohol. Yeah. No, no, Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> Why not? Nah. Because after a couple First of beers, all, mask is off. Um, it's already crazy at the at the football games. You're already pissed off about 2020. Then, yeah, I don't know about all that. All it's right, interesting, though. I mean, alcohol is part of the sport. Like, no, it's legit agree. part of the sport. Like, name a sport that doesn't have... That doesn't sell alcohol. Oh, it's every sport. Exactly. Because no, it's money. It's not good. Yeah, you're you know? right, but... Football is one of the only sports you guarantee to see three fights. Guaranteed. At the game. But Guaranteed. I think you're not going to get that many because they're going to be spread out anyway. They're not letting people sit next to each other, you know what I mean? Other than, like, you with your family. What difference? I, I highly doubt they're going to be, like, two or, like, I'm there. I highly think they're going to be, like, two to three seats away. You're still away. a couple hey. rows back. I'm still going to fight you. Six seats away, you still got Dallas fans talking their shit. You're not going to say nothing back? I'm going to keep talking That's my exactly. shit, but like, you know what I'm saying? As long as they ain't coming swinging on me, then it'll be straight. I'm going to let you talk your shit. I'm going to oh, talk my course. shit. No, that's how it's supposed to be. But yeah. you know, some people, alcohol mixed in. Yeah, I get you. I mean, but then you should use it. That's just like saying banned alcohol in Agreed. general, you know? That's just something that comes with the sport, fighting and all that. That's just, <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. fine with it. But once it happens, then they start changing shit and we start getting soft and we end up with this NBA. I yeah. want yeah, that. Oh, I was going to say that. I was going to fucking say that. I want to talk about the fucking NBA because they are fucking soft. Like, what yeah. the fuck is going on? You can't touch nobody no more. Like, yeah. people getting teed up left and right for arguing and shit. I'm like, wow. Like, what the fuck is this? It's fucking powder puff ass basketball going on right now. This shit is, like, it irks my nerves. Like, hey. I forgot somebody got into an argument. They hey. didn't even touch each other. And they're like, yeah, we're going to tech them both up. I was like, I know what? what you're <laughs> What the? Hey, oh. Give it twenty more minutes. It will get it. <laughs> oh my man! What the shit? Give is Adam Silver oh. a call. Man, that's just yeah. Crazy. Come on, Will Schefter, give somebody a call. I have to talk to somebody. My source is going. <laughs> so they're gonna have to hear about that one because that's just crazy. Call your uncle Stephen A. Man. Yeah, no, that's not. That's the homie. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes he be on some other shit. I was just on. The, you know, we're gonna get on that later. <laughs> but uh, let's get on to these Patriots. Patriots, you know, they having a quarterback battle. I wouldn't really call it a battle. I would call it a quarterback beating because it's like Cam Newton is running away with number one spot as he should and was going to do. So then why is it a battle if he's running away with That's why I said a beating. So it sounds like actually might not be as bad as you're hoping. Why you say that? If it's a, if if it's it's a, battle, a battle. It's not a battle. Now they're like, oh, yeah. I thought we were going to stop talking about that, the Patriots with Tom Brady. That's how they're doing it. First team reps. <laughs> and guess who comes running out? <laughs> Cam Newton. Hey, hold on. Don't get me started. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing my job here, okay? The shit says Cam Newton. So I'm talking Cam Newton. We can talk your about- phone. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. All right. Okay, we can talk about Cam. You know, you know what? It's cool. I man. got the person you can talk to about this, you know? Let's bring on our guests. Um, the man, Mr. Mello himself, Eddie. <laughs> Yeah, so Rich doesn't want to talk about Cam Newton anymore. So this is your source? <laughs> no, I don't give up my sources. You would never know. The source. <laughs> no, that's, he's one of the Raider fans, man. You got to leave him alone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can't trust too much of what hey, he's I got a question. Hey, I'm a smart. No, since you're on the, since you're on the show, we talking about football and the Raiders. Why did y'all pass out season tickets that nobody can go to? Dude, mm-hmm. that was fucking funny, bro. <laughs> I was like, in all real shit, because I know someone who got them, and I was fucking laughing. I was like, no fucking way. Like, you can't like, go to a game. Yeah, that's why I was like, wow. You should have got refunded, right? Yeah, they well, so. <laughs> hey, but, but still, this shit looked dope. It did, though. It looked dope. Know. What, the season pass? Yeah, it looked dope. Man, some people are like, damn, I might as well just keep this motherfucker and say I got it. Might as well. <laughs> that's what it's going to come out to be. Or maybe it yeah. gets renewed for next year. What if there's no next year? What if you die? I you just, just did it because that's the first season with the stadium and shit. Bill you. 15 years, 20 years now, you still yeah. have that first one. It'd be worth some money. Cool. Damn, you got to wait 15 million was funny. years to be... I thought it was a million because I know somebody that got it and I started laughing. <laughs> you see, you got to wait 15 years to, to be that. a millionaire? Yeah. I know. We were, talking, we were talking about years. the NBA. I guess, son. That, yeah, it counts. That's good. That's good, I guess. So, Eddie, they want to know why we talk about Cam Newton and <laughs> uh, the spot that he already won. Because he's a former MVP? I don't know if he already won it, though. 
And why not? But oh, the spot. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm just trying to put flame. Will on swears he does. He won. It's over. He won the day he signed. He was like, <laughs> I'm going to New England. <laughs> starting quarterback. It said it in the contract. Hey, You're going to be the starting quarterback in bold letters. I'm, I'm a Cam, Cam Newton. Hey, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a Cam Newton fan. I'm a big Cam Newton. Fan. Me too. But I he won me money. money. Hope he doesn't play <laughs> he lost first me week. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> that's fucked up. I'm going to do like this. I hope they fucking lose. I hope they lose. <laughs> Nah, I want Cam to do good. I'm talking about reason. if Cam Newton don't start, I hope they fucking lose. <laughs> they better lose. After Damn, that, I'm good. Man. You think they're going to win that division, though? No. no I think Buffalo. Yeah, me too. I, I, I hope think so, because I picked too. him to go to the Super Bowl. I just don't think he has enough <laughs> weapons either way. You pick Buffalo go to the Super Bowl? I said this like months ago. He did say Buffalo going to go to the Super Bowl. And you got mad at me for saying Baltimore was going to the Super Bowl? I didn't get mad at you. Or you thought I was blasphemous about that? No, you're just on Buffalo? Baltimore. They is, give you life is Baltimore well. going anymore without Earl Thomas? Yeah, nigga Earl Thomas didn't do nothing. I, as you can see, oh, Earl yeah. Thomas did was get ran over by Derrick Henry. He didn't stop Derrick Henry. Did Derrick Henry keep running, right? So he shouldn't go to the Cowboys. Oh, yeah, he definitely should. I hope he does. He definitely should go to the Cowboys. I know why you say We're gonna that. We're going to run right at him. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go right at him. Nah, Earl Thomas is good. Hey, no, what, because he seems like a cancer. So if he's cancerous, I mean. So what happens if the Buffalo is a fluke? Oh, I don't believe that. I think their defense I think is the coach is I do too, good. but what happens if like um, Allen don't, it's not the same quarterback? I already told you he wasn't but that good. But he doesn't good. have to be but great. You don't like nobody. <laughs> There's no, literally just, like three <laughs> quarterbacks that you like, like, oh, he's good. Everybody else is, he's trash. Yeah, because <laughs> a lot of these motherfuckers is trash. Yeah, um, <laughs> no, it's a couple. It's like a good he team. He don't even like his you own team's okay, quarterback. Wait, <laughs> That's not time true. Time What's out. my issue with Carson Wentz? Because Gibbs can't hurt. Thank you. Time out. That's everybody's issue with Carson Wentz, right? Give me 10 quarterbacks right now. Me? That I like? That you respect. No, ah, fuck ten? that. That you like, that is good. No, that you give me say six. Is good. Yeah, I don't even know if he can give me six. Ah, well, he we, said 10. I want to hear the 10. Lamar, Pat, um, he Carson. You can't, can't even think of one. You going to put me on the spot and expect me to be like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Not Lamar, Drew, Pat, Carson, Drew it. Brees, Drew Aaron Rodgers. Drew still? Yeah. Okay. I like Drew. Okay. You think, I mean, I'm not be talking about sports. We're not talking about his. <laughs> That's golf. old news. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's off season shit. We're not talking about that. Um, Deshaun Watson. That's six. <laughs> That's six. <laughs> Matty Ice. No, no, he ain't good, <laughs> no. I he was fuck say no, say. fuck no. Hey, Aaron. I, I said Aaron Rodgers. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, Russell, Russ. Russell Wilson. Jimmy Garoppolo. Russell. I do not Wilson. like Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo is a fry. Oh, I know. He's a fry. I know your favorite. Who? Matthew Stafford. Oh, shut up. Get out of here. <laughs> Wait, do you like? Do you like Carr? I, oh, I don't know. Damn. Look, look, look. I can't. I never. I never like judge. <laughs> I never judge Raider players because they're on the Raiders. You know what I'm oh, saying? It's all bad. You know, it's all bad. The only person season. I like about on the Raiders right now is Josh Jacobs. Wait, he was minute. pretty good. You considered Carr out of everybody? You said no. I said I don't like. Oh, I thought you him. said. Yeah, I thought you said you couldn't. I thought you said it was okay. You couldn't say Carr had one good season to me, and he ended up breaking his leg. And that three good seasons. One good season and two average. How about good season, that? Wait. He had a good season the year last before, year. the year he broke his leg. Statistically, he had a good season last year. <laughs> they ain't had a good quarterback since Jeff Garcia. Jeff Garcia was a man too. I used to like that. I like that Raiders team. With Joe Jeff Montana. Garcia. <laughs> you, you know, you know who Jerry I like. Rice. I like Jason Ooh. Campbell when he was on the team. You said Jason Campbell. Jason Campbell. Yeah, one yeah. for the from the Redskins. Yeah. Jeez. This is yeah. why you guys. He didn't and think he was right there. No, 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 he was solid. He was solid. I mean, I'm not saying he's good, but I'm saying like, fuck, compared to what we had. Man, God Dan damn. A solid quarterback. No, no he did. He, he did have a decent little run. I, I, I was like, I'm I thinking like. Car. Oh, you know what? I like Ryan Tannehill. I like Jeff Garcia. <laughs> I like Ryan Tannehill. That just came to my mind too. Yeah, more than yeah. more than Matt Ryan. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fucked up. No, Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill is, he's here, that's no, 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 no. Listen, fuck. listen, listen, listen. Ryan Tannehill was on the same path as Carson Wentz. He just gets hurt a lot. If you actually watch Ryan Tannehill throw a season, he's a pretty he's good, a good quarterback. quarterback. But I don't he just remember hurt. throwing Wentz. over three hundred in the playoffs. I'm done talking to you. He doesn't. <laughs> You don't. The subject. You're not going to get Dak Prescott this ever throwing 300 said, yards Ryan. either because he has Ezekiel Elliott. And if you have Tannehill. Derrick Henry, the running, the rusher, uh, the running number running back in the motherfucking league, you give it to Derrick Henry. So, That's what the smart people you do. You talking about Ryan Tannehill? That was a quarterback slash wide receiver slash quarterback. Yeah, no, not happening. He's good. Yeah, I agree with you, Jay. I don't, Ryan I don't Tannehill know. is solid. good. 
You not better than some of the people you hate. I don't do that. All right, who do I hate that he's not good? He's not better than Stafford. Right now, fuck no. Already Stafford. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Wait, you say fuck no? Not over what though? You put Tannehill on the team that 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 was that was okay, and he you see where they went? Yeah, he gave it to Derrick Henry and let him do it. But no, because when the time came for him to throw the ball, he wasn't throwing interceptions. He was throwing touchdowns because everyone's in the damn box. I don't want to hear that. He got the job done. He got the job Henry. Where was Tannehill at? He, they still scored. They, they scored. They went up twenty four to seven okay, on the, look, the on the Super Bowl champions, and the Super Bowl champions scored three touchdowns in a minute and thirty seconds. Okay. That's not Ryan Tannehill's fault. Tannehill starts. That has nothing to do with this Ryan season, Tannehill. He plays a whole season. They don't make the playoffs. Bet, bet. Okay, bet. But my mm-hmm. prediction is he doesn't even finish the season as starting quarterback because he gets hurt. No. Because he's throwing bullshit. Hell nah. He That's has too many. Co- Hell, I think why he was just because that contract he got. He just got most improved because he no, finished. Yeah, for sure. There was a reason but why. That contract because he got, got hurt. He kept getting concussions. And then because he he's throwing leg. bullshit too. No, it's, he kept getting hurt. He he's, hey, he man. didn't have the confidence behind him. The new scenery got him his confidence back. You sound like a he went and took a man's spot. He went and he, hey, he wasn't Tony in Rumble jeopardy. Was pretty good. Who? And Tony Romo was Tony pretty Rumble. good. He just oh, yeah. was on the Cowboys, and you know how that oh, shit goes. They said someone else. Tony yeah, Romo was, was good until the fourth quarter. <laughs> Tony Romo. Hold on, hold on. Tony Romo. We done went too far <laughs> without <laughs> saying anything. <laughs> good. Let me say what's up to my boy Ruben over there. <laughs> what up, y'all? Hi, Ruben. Ruben. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I don't care, Ruben. Okay. Fuck Tony Romo. I told you that before. Fuck the Eagles. It's all good. He a Niner fan. I know. I know. I know. You started. Said, you started. You brought it. You brought him into the topic. I appreciate it, man. He's like, I'm not even gonna. He said it. it. I didn't say nothing about Tony Romo. He hey, did. What I did say was Tony <laughs> Romo is a Hall of Fame uh, announcer. Yeah, that he is. Yeah, I saw he paid. stopped predicting the plays because he, he didn't want to help out other teams anymore. He got paid. You know? Yeah, he got paid. Got paid more than some I, of the players. I in think the he's NFL. the highest paid right now. Uh-huh. He is. Tony right? Romo, Drew Brees, Drew Brees Dallas quarterback ever. No, the fuck he wasn't. That's why. So <laughs> <laughs> the fourth quarter, I'm telling you, check out those fourth I mean, quarter numbers. I, I don't know. I think Cowboy fans uh, they didn't know they had too good of. a... He was a fucking good quarterback. He was a good quarterback. They I didn't have him. a lot of. Other yeah, he shit. would crumble sometimes, but all you had to do is hold the field goal. Sometimes <laughs> that one year against Seattle. That's it. Sometimes mm. <laughs> he did. He, he fucked up. Crumble he had sometimes. Good teams before? When December hit, Tony Romo was shit. That's that's what it was. December hits. Tony Romo you turns to shit. Have good teams Damn, on. Will's about dropping poetry. Right? Dallas doesn't never not have well, a good team. Okay, well, they have talent now. <laughs> they so, usually have talent. Feelings out of it. Who was better, Donovan or Tony? Oh, I'm always gonna say Donovan. I said feelings out of it. Feelings out of it. Donovan McNabb. Donovan. Like if you're saying what I, I you could say, Donovan because he got to the Super Donovan Bowl. McNabb, I'm still taking Donovan because I mean, no race involved, but I like the black quarterback. I always like the black. He, quarterback. He got to the Super Bowl. Too, the dual so. threat is just way more of a, a fucking advantage than just a pocket passer. So who do you like more, Donovan or T.O. When that drama happened. I mean, T.O.'s my favorite player oh, in the league. You know what I'm saying? So Receiver, you know, you know, Michael Vick, Terrell Owens. Like, those are my top two NFL players right there. That Niner love. Huh? I said that Niner love. No, I, no, I like Terrell I love Owens. Jerry, right? I too, so I can't he was on the shit. Bengals, the Bills, <laughs> and all them things. Uh, <laughs> yo, that Dallas love too. <laughs> he did. That's crazy. Where did he, where's the furthest he went? And what jersey was he wearing in that? And where he went? Oh, the Eagles. The Eagle love. Fuck you talking hey, about. I think the only cowboy I really fuck is Michael Irvin. Why? I think Michael, man. I mean, I like Ezekiel Elliott now. What about, about Emmett, Emmett, though? Okay, so. Oh, Emmett, too. Yeah. Or right. Deion, yeah, Deion White. I don't know why. I Michael Irvin was cool. He was cool, but he was a lot of talk more than he was productive. Michael Irvin was good, he though. He was. But he never led stats or anything. Never led you in receiving. Uh, yards, receptions, touchdowns. No he just right. came in clutch a couple of times. Yeah, that's what you guys want to say. It was because of the run, though, because I mean, you know that. It, it, it should have been uh, easier for him, though. Yeah, that's what I was like. That that squad. They, I mean, they won their Super Bowls, but they should have won some more. Yeah, yeah for sure. Mm-hmm. Then they turned into Dallas. No, then they ran to the Niners. <laughs> What's the <laughs> little bit of that too? What's the next? <laughs> yeah. So uh, Roger Goodell, you know, looking back on it, you know, he went and seen this therapist, talked about it and stuff, and he said he thought he should, or he think he should listen to Cap a lot sooner. Which we all he's freaking a therapist? know. I'm just saying that part. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> he said he has a therapist. I was like, damn, bro, I didn't even know that shit. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But nah, he went and had like a deep revelation and then he's saying, you know, he, mm. he should listen to Cap and he feels a, a fault, which is 
I mean, we all knew that. You can you miss know? me with that. That's PR. Yeah, yeah, you know. That's, that's what I feel like. Yeah, we all knew that you should listen to Cap. You, you know? had a chance to say that years ago, dude, and you didn't say shit. Yeah, and dude, you let it go on for so long until up. another yeah. tragedy fuck happened for here. you to start to say something. And which is still going on today, you know what I'm saying? Cops still haven't been arrested for Breonna Taylor. I know we don't like to talk about this. R. And R. then Breonna Taylor. Just yesterday. Jacob Blake, man, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, dude, that's just too, yesterday. Man. I just seen that. Uh, they just shot another man. He's alive. In his back. He stayed on a lot. But his kids in the car. Did you kids in the it. car? Do you see that one where the the cop? I, I'm not podcast for, but whatever. Uh, that one where the cops um he they killed somebody and then he was holding up the Nazi sign. Yeah, I seen that. You seen that shit? Yeah. I was like, bro, what these fools are getting more bold and bold as yeah. Trump stays in office. This yeah. shit is crazy. This man. Shit is crazy. So you know, there's still a lot, a lot, a lot of work to be done. A lot of more work. than stenciling going on the court or on the field. You know, we got to take shit NBA to for action. doing that. That's big time. Yeah, but That's you know, cool. like I said, it's still big too it's right now. now we got it. Now it's action. Time. Time. We talked a lot. Now we got to start taking action. Facts, you know. And it's like, uh, I think you. I don't know. It's just like going on. Real quick, that. I think if you get one more incident like that, you NBA players, I think are going to walk out. I think they should. I mean, they're already kind of talking about it. Yeah, you know, as you know I'm saying, saying, pop that bubble. Reading. You think they should hashtag pop the bubble? Well, that's what none of them are saying. Like, fuck these games. That's like, the only way you're going to hurt people like that. You got to hurt their pockets. They don't give a fuck about anything else. Yeah. Obviously, don't him care and about LeBron morality or humanity. Yeah, they, him and LeBron both said fuck the games. Like, we want. We want justice and shit. Facts is what they My thing do. is, it's life, right? So when you go through life, say you're in school and you get a bad grade, you get you fail the class, right? right. When you get a good grade, you pass the class. Mm-hmm. It, with a job. You do poor, a poor job, you get fired. Usually when you do a good job, you get promoted. So why is it that for the cops that are killing people, why aren't they fired? You know what I'm saying? They are still human at the end of the day. They don't why aren't to, they, they don't tried? Want to fire them. And like that's what I'm saying. Like Authority. this shit is crazy. Yeah, they don't want so to fire. So it start. Him. It's that, that's why I'm coming. That's what I'm getting to. It's not just the police. This shit is deeper than just the police. And people are, are not seeing it. Racism, you know what I'm bro. saying? It's the whole system. So yeah. So they saying defund police or that. We need a whole fucking reform of the whole system in general. So exactly. I feel like everybody at the top right now has to go. The reason why you won't ever get or no never, but the reason why a lot of Cops don't get prosecuted, stuff like that. It's intimidation authority factor. Yeah. So if you if you sit here and start firing cops left and right, or you start punishing them or whatever, then that means you don't respect them no more. It's like those fifty one that got fired in uh, New York and they went to what Buffalo or something yeah. like that, and they got rehired and shit. Yeah, you don't it's respect them. No bullshit. More. Yeah. If you sit here and you knew that every time somebody does something, they get reprimanded. You're not gonna listen to this guy. You just might be I'm about to get you fired. You're done. You're done. So, but if you don't ever, if you, this dude comes and he starts shooting up everybody, or robbing people, beating up people in your spot, the hood, whatever. And he doesn't have to happen to him. You scared for you scared. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You intimidate everybody. That's why. Mm-hmm. You, that's why it, it takes so long for them to try to fire cops or arrest cops and shit because they don't want to lose that intimidation. Lot, intimidation factor. factor. It's the whole thing. You know? Yeah. Well, this is crazy. Fuck pigs. But yeah. yeah and anyway, next time. Yeah. Let's get back on to this. <laughs> this is a topic I've been waiting for. <laughs> We're going to get on this basketball topic. You know, fellas, we've been watching basketball. This is the most exciting shit. I mean, we the we bubble. talked about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh, we start with the East. Let's start with the East because I feel like this first round was kind of predictable and we knew that it's not going to really start getting exciting until the next round. Toronto swept. Toronto swept. I and Boston swept. more out of Pacers. I expected more out of Philadelphia. I thought yeah, it was going to be a fight. Pacers got no bench. I think that's once the, that's the down, problem, man. really. Yeah, once Ben went down, too, with the Sixers, it was over. Well, yeah, I, at least they, they, they had two. problems And then, and then I, see, I was watching the games. I watched all four of the games. I want to say three. They were all pretty close. Game th- yeah, game three, they blew it. Listen, shout out to Blew it. Shout out Tobias Harris, man. That shit was crazy. Did you see his fall? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh my yeah. god, I watched that live. Fell on his head. Oh, I yeah, felt yeah. that. Yeah. When he found his head. I felt that. He got like his legs swept by Jason Tatum and bam, busted this shit right open. Tatum's hooping. I felt that. I that, that's what I was gonna say too. Boston has a real good chance of winning because they're finally falling into a system where they know who their main scorers Did are. I and then their main scorers know who the because main their coach scorer is. Great. They were okay. coaches. Did I tell them that already? What? See, he didn't want to believe me about Boston. They have a good chance. I pick Boston know. and the Clippers. <laughs> they got a good chance. Before the year lie. started, I picked Boston and the Clippers. I, so I have Boston Lakers. But uh, I also say to whoever wins out the Boston I don't Toronto. I know wins. anymore. The way Toronto looks, man. It looks- I was going to say that too. Toronto looks solid. I know it was I Brooklyn, think, but they, they can't they close. Look, they put 150 uh, points on their look, bench for about 100 points. Yeah, yeah, everyone off that team was fucking covered. Scoring. Yeah, they were shooting that thing like it was nothing. That's, so, I, I, shit. Toronto to me can beat Milwaukee. They've already shown it without you. You think so? Yeah. I think, I think Siakam Boston and Van Vliet. I think Fred yeah, and uh, yeah. Pascal are going to be the deciding factors of that series. See, because um, 
Milwaukee still hasn't shown a second uh, second score. So yeah, right now you're, you're right in the back of mm-hmm. fucking um, Giannis, Giannis right now. Yeah. And really, Orlando just doesn't have enough firepower to beat them mm-hmm. without Jonathan Isaac or Aaron Gordon. So, yeah. You have those two people. It's a whole different uh, whole different series the way that Milwaukee's playing. Hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. So you think they lose to uh, to Miami next round? No, but I I can see it going seven games. Okay. I don't. I, I mean, I wouldn't. I, if they lose, I wouldn't be like, oh shit, like going yeah. crazy. But I, it wouldn't shock me because, like I said, Bam is is as long and he can move with him a little Bam, bit. Bam could play him. Yeah. They can go a little bigger, with, you know, bringing Kelly Olynyk in and with him. You know what I mean? Um, close up the middle. They got shooters all and over the, the fucking. They got place. the shooters, so I mean, their their role players or whatever is playing a lot stronger than Milwaukee. There is no Chris Middleton really right now. They're so young. There's too. no Eric Bledsoe right now. There's no Brooke Lopez isn't showing up. Kyle Coover's going to be what he can. I mean, but there's no second person on that squad right now. If Chris yeah, Milton really stepped up and did what he's supposed to do, then that's a whole different team. But right now, mm-hmm. playoffs is getting to him. Yeah, it's based on Giannis. I'm with who? Giannis? No, the Middleton. Oh, yeah. Giannis is doing what he's doing. Yeah, Giannis, Giannis is balling. Does. Yeah, Giannis Middleton's is balling. never been that. Now, last year, Middleton mm-hmm. showed up big time. He did, but he's yeah. always been a shooter. Once there was they no plug, pressure on him. Once they Eastern. plugged him now, yeah. Once he got to the Eastern Conference Final, he disappeared. But he did show up. Before that, he was because they figured out he could shoot. So like, oh, we got a key on him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So well, actually, they just put too much pressure, like you said. Now, Eastern Conference Final, they had Kawhi Leonard guarding Giannis. Now Giannis is like, this nigga could play defense. Mm-hmm. And now it's your turn. <laughs> and he's right. like, well, shit. You know what I'm saying? He had no one with him to go off. He's like, usually I follow your lead. Now yeah. his lead is not there no more. You think so. Miami could beat any of them? No, I don't think they can beat Boston or Toronto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think they could beat Toronto. I think they could beat any one of them if they're playing right. I think they could beat Toronto, yeah. Because I don't think they could beat Boston. Boston. I think, I, man, I, after watching Boston do that to Philly, I honestly think I see Boston. Boston got triggers. triggers to you, you got to also, like, people <clears throat> also forget, they got defenders, too, on Miami. You still got Iggy over there. You still got Jay Crowder over there. You, Jimmy, Jimmy Buckets. Butler. Yeah. That's three people right there that can play defense on Tatum and, and uh, Bam plays Jaylen D, Brown. too. So, I just right. think this next round is the Eastern Conference Finals. Between Boston and Toronto, I agree. I'm, I, I'm, I, whoever wins that goes mm-hmm. to Eastern Conference. I agree, but I'm just saying I'm the four teams. No, I'm saying that is. The, yeah, I'm yeah. saying that is the Eastern Conference Finals between those two. Those two winners, and then the, whoever wins that goes to the finals. To the finals. Yeah. I agree. They go to the finals. But I'm I saying, got Toronto now. Toronto, Toronto going to the finals. Boston. I got Toronto going to the finals. Oh, so they Toronto play Boston next. The finals. Yeah. Damn. Toronto plays Boston next. So who yeah. wins that? I think has the best chance. I got Boston. I got Boston. Like I said from the beginning, I like Tatum. I, like Tatum is a future for me. I really do like Tatum. It just sucks he plays for fucking just Boston as a Lakers. Imagine Man. if y'all drafted him. I think, Man, that pisses me off just the thought of that. Don't even get me started on that either. Because I'm. We had Ingram. It makes it's so sense. funny because why didn't you guys? He's a we coach. Had he's a Coach K kid. No, because so Levar Ball talked the hell of a game. No, I know. I know what he did. He no, Hollywood first, his way into yeah, that. Yeah, he shit. really did. Well, Look, because we had Let's, Ingram, they weren't gonna take another three. For first of all, it, Tatum's a two. Lonzo was coming since he was three, a senior. In no, high Tatum's school. a two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was already setting that up. He was coming as a senior in high school. Who Lonzo, Lonzo was already? Destined. Yeah, they wanted that whole want Cali Lonzo. kid bullshit. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't, want didn't work. But it, I watched it already. Once I watched you got it with Jordan Farmer, you can so see that. Yeah, hell I yeah. Seen this shit firsthand with Jordan Farmer. So like, it's, that's that's why I said they tried doing it a couple times. Yeah, but now. Um, we should. I, I wanted Fox that year. Actually, I wanted De'Aaron Fox over. Um, and that would have been Lonzo. a nice pickup for y'all. Either way, I'm glad we didn't get faults. I'm tell you that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> hey, no, nah, he's playing good. He's playing all he's, right. He's playing all right. All right. He's playing. He's playing you, Lonzo you level. You think he's? Play, ooh, I was gonna say. You think he's playing better than Lonzo? You think he's probably a little bit better because he he's not as I main as focus. But mm-hmm. not he's before playing the, before level. the bubble. He was. He wasn't playing before. Lonzo was playing a lot better than. Yeah, him. yeah. Okay, but so. the bubble came and Lonzo played like shit. He didn't do, do nothing it? the whole summer. Do you keep Lonzo or do you trade Lonzo? He has to go. Well, I'll give him one more shot. I'll give him one more shot. He's young. <clears throat> I'll give him one more shot. See ya. Why would you dream him? What do you, what's the... No, I said I'll give him one more shot because saying, I think like, he has a really good chance. Let Drew I've run heard, the one and get a bigger two guard. And older. I've heard they want to get a... Um, get a bigger two guard. Get a two guard, but or even just a, a solid point. And, but imagine even DeRozan over there. That'd be solid. Yeah, but they're saying like Lonzo... It wouldn't work because... I mean, Ray was, he's not, he didn't seem like he was... Um, they were saying he wasn't engaged in the bubble. With the teammates and all this other stuff, mm-hmm. so they want a little more maturity. That boy is Hollywood, man. Yeah. Nah, he's probably just going through a lot of shit at home. You know what I'm saying? You got baby mama issues, then you got your dad always on your back. And nah, shit. nah. You always don't use that Lavar thing. No he's more, still man. connected to his he's dad, not, and they got that dumbass as as that show before. and shit like he's that. Like not now, yeah, dude, now he's starting to become a man of his like on his own now. So his his life is transitioning. He ain't got nobody telling him what to do. All so you keeping him or you keeping Drew? Like I said, I give him one more year. I mean, if I had to right now, it was like, oh, we gotta get rid of one of these things. I'm 
getting rid of Lonzo. Drew's, Drew's, uh, Drew's, Drew's our year. He's like 28. 29. No, he's a couple years after Darren. Darren's 30. I'm 34. Darren's got to be 33. He's like 29. So he's got to be like 30. That's 29, yeah, 30, 30, something like that. Hey, Ruben, how, that how old is Drew Holiday? <laughs> You know what I mean? So, and it's spelled a J, not a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, say, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. J R U E, right? I, I think Pelicans get. They got some young guys, man. They, just, they got a squad. That's what I'm gotta saying. Get, they got to get the right coach. They got to trade somebody too. They have to trade one of those pieces. It's just not working. Speaking of coaches, Brett Brown was fired. He's 30 been. years old, bro. That was not 30. Yeah, thank 30. you, thank you for that, Ruben. Oh. Yeah, he should have been. Oh, so I'm younger than him. Hell yeah! Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, Brett, Brett Brown should have been there. This was last year anyway, so it didn't make a difference if they lost in the first round, if they lost a, well, yeah, they they lost in the Eastern. finals. Yeah, they, Eastern nah, they didn't. They they didn't look like a finals. He wasn't the right. I'm coach saying that unless they got to the finals. Oh yeah, he yeah. Was probably yeah. Well, they wanted to give him another year because he was with them when they was terrible and brought that you know their franchise up a little bit. So they tried it. Would you give him a year? I wouldn't. It just no, sucks because you know like working. he can't like you can't really like you said uh, Ben went down and that was a big big drop for them because he's a lot of their fucking team. You know what I'm saying? You know what's funny as fuck who I think would be a good coach over there? I hate to say it because I fucking can't stand his ass. Mike D'Antoni. Put Ben Simmons running that with the, you just get some shooters over there, have Embiid at the five. That'd be Embiid pretty, actually play like a five. Solid. That's what really, that's who should have got fucking, nah, he can't get fired, but like, he's, Cause, cause nobody wanna run. Like, he has to run with Ben Simmons and not United get shots trade up. Play, Embiid, no. I've been saying this for years. Yeah. No, I would, trade You know Embiid. what's so funny, Rich? We had this argument earlier and I was like, hell no, I would trade Simmons. If I was Embiid, I would want to fucking get traded. I'd be like, give me the fuck out of here. I don't want to do this shit oh, no yeah, more. Oh yeah, sorry, sweet. You know what did you saying? say, Portland? I've, he'd be best fit in Portland. That's just me. And be, and that would be me? cold, honestly. Be the okay, best wait a minute. I'm time. giving you Nurkic and I'm giving you CJ. I'm giving no, you no, both no, no, and no, no, I'll no, give no, you a no, pick. No, 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 no. I want no, Gary Trent get too. CJ. You ain't getting Gary Trent. You're not getting Gary Trent. No, no, no. For no. Embiid, I will give CJ Grady. I'll pack that nigga oh, in a package, put a no. ball on top and ship him off. Oh, no, You think he's staying if that trade happens? He has to go. No. They're too close, bro. Them two are too close. Damn that trade can't happen then. Them two are too close. You gotta get rid of This nigga talking about they too close like they running nothing. I'm telling you. These are players, Eddie. They don't run shit, but they run. That franchise is run different, Or do you just go... Ben for Dame or something like that. No, you you, you got to get rid of CJ and you got to give him Nurkic. And, and you then Trent. you have to have... You give him a pick too, probably. Gary Trent's got to... Well, if you're smart, you, you try to get somebody Simmons. else too, though. Take Simmons. If they're smart, you, you get... You try to get both of them? You get somebody else over there too. I don't know exactly who's on the roster right now. In but, Portland? Yeah. No, on Philly. Yeah, oh, you from take, Philly? Yeah, you take Embiid and you take somebody else. I would players. take that backup point guard. I forgot his name. Fuck, he's start, McConnell? He's starting now. No, no, no. no. Oh, Milton. 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 Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I would take him. Because uh, they need a backup uh, one. I'm saying Trent because they need shooting. I would have took a lot of people are wanting take, Gary Trent right now. That's what I'm saying. I'll I would take give CJ board. because Gary Trent is starting to like oh, yeah, he's, he's coming like, into his too. own. But I'm, I'm just saying though, he doesn't have that much like revenue or like he has not big so big enough revenue to me. Yeah, he's really cheap. So I would keep him, me, Dame. I don't think Dame and, uh, Dame and Bead and, and Trent. I don't think Dame would take him beat. I don't think I don't think Dame wants to deal with that attitude. Yeah, I don't think their attitudes. I mean, I, don't I mean, think their mesh. I know, I but know I think they got one thing in common, and that no, they know they have to win one. Well, they know they, they have to win though. one. Yeah, you know what I'm Dame's saying. Like, it's uh, a profession at the end of the day. I don't think that's the problem. And it's gonna like go alpha. back to like an Aldridge type of situation. And Dame was loving playing with Aldridge. He was loving it. You know what I'm saying? He knew that he can throw up anything. I don't and think Aldridge he's coming back. I don't think he has a chance coming back anymore. Aldridge. A lot of people can't. Oh, can't Your him. brother can't. Right. That's funny. <laughs> I hate the way you run at first. <laughs> <laughs> and people say that too in his jumper, huh? People Bro. say they don't, they don't like how his jumper looks. Like, was it wet? Like, like, it, it, it is. is. I, I like it. It's cool. Shit goes John Merriman shit was all right, but, but I, I just never, I don't he's not he's that, that guy like mm-hmm. that. Like, I agree. Well, he's not. He's okay. Defensively, he's the not The best that, player now. He's the third best on your team. So where would you send him then? If uh, Back oh, to NB. Yeah, if he doesn't go to Portland. I, would, I, would, I say Portland. First of all, I'd bring a better coach in and I would, first, and I would try. So like, I wouldn't bring in Dan Tony because um, I don't think you need to necessarily run up and down so much. What about Alvin Gentry? I'm just trying to think of a way to get Simmons shots without him fucking getting scared because <laughs> oh, he needs no. to shoot the basketball. I'm, I'm done with Simmons. I need a point guard that's, gonna, that's not going to be scared. I think you need mm-hmm. like a... Uh, but if he ever just decides to, I think Jason Kidd start letting him go, he'd be a great ass player. J Kidd, J Kidd will be a head coach. J Kidd next would be good over there. I think you're like a Mark Jackson. J Kidd and Tyron Lue will be. They'll be uh, head coaches. Next he's year. actually the uh, Tyron Lue. He's the lead one. candidate for the Sixers spot right now. For the Sixers one, yeah, Tyron Lue would be good. A, That'd be a good San one. San Antonio. Too. Popovich, I'll take it and be honest Actually, with you. I just heard that oh, fucking girl. Greg Popovich, Popovich the, the Nets, Nets oh, are are trying to are targeting yeah. Greg Popovich. 
The Nets? Yeah. Now, if Pop goes to the Nets next year, I'm putting 150000 on the Nets, winning the whole damn thing. I don't care. You have $150,000? I don't, I don't but I'm about to put it up anyway. I'm being does dead. He, does he deal with that <laughs> attitude, though? Okay, so look. I think Pop does go to the Nets. I don't Nets, know. And I think... Becky win. Hammond becomes the head coach of this. Spurs is the first female head coach. I think she's going to be it, but I think when he's gone, I don't think he's going to play for she's, another team. He's, he's, I wouldn't be shocked because if, if he's he still they can win. Game. He knows they can win. Kevin Durant can they get can him win. over there. Two headaches. Though, you man. think so? I think he's. I think he's he, been playing for Team USA, which well, is not well, for the whole time. So they really, they he just reminds me yeah, of, that's true. of, yeah, he, of he, Kobe. He coached them. He coached them already. Like he said, he coaches you at Team USA, so he knows their personalities already. He knows what he's getting himself into. If Doc takes this spot, if Pop takes this spot, he knows they're winning the NBA Finals championship. I don't either. But at the same time, I could see him stepping aside and being like, "Look, it's Becky's time." Time for me to move on, type shit. I, I think that's gonna, gonna happen too. And I, that's gonna be cool. When that rising on, right on the left the I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I think that was his best time. But I, think I think he, he should have left when Tim Duncan left too. He's gonna end up leaving. When but it's he like loves the game. Man. Ninety years old, he like, loves on, it. He can't get up and move no more. Like type. Yeah. Of I love. Didn't uh, he end up going to the bubble when he said he wasn't gonna go? Well, especially since his wife died. Ever since he said he had to get into basketball to get get his mind off. So I think that's what I think he's. I think he's gonna be like a Joe Paterno. Mm-hmm. From Penn State. Once you take the game away from him, that's it. Yeah. But that's what it is. Joe Paterno stood in one place. That's why I think Pop's going to stay in one place. Well, no. I think if you get him Hopefully somewhere else, he'll like yeah, 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 actually, I was about to say, yeah, oh, it got nah, to a point where like Paterno wasn't going to fall, fall nowhere else, you know? Well, and then the, still, the Penn State it? scandal happened, and then he was just I'm like, saying, without the, without the scandal, <laughs> I'm saying, none of that scandal's going to happen. For the last five, seven years, when he was at Penn State, if he would have stopped coaching, I guarantee you, he would have probably passed, because that was what he kept him getting up every That broke his heart. And then he got, he got they resigned because the whole shit. Not even two weeks, bro, after he passed. I mean, after he got fired. He was yeah, old, though. Yeah, but it he had nothing to do with the scandal. It had to do yeah. everything with football was gone. You had nothing to live oh, yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. And he bro. wasn't getting no job he anywhere else. So yeah, 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 yeah. I feel him. I know. I know 100%. Crazy. That shit broke his heart. Literally, he that's died because of football. Well, I mean, that's this connect that people tie to themselves when they do sports, you know? Mm-hmm. That shit is our lives. That's what we love, you know? So, yeah. Man. Man. Then, so, like, Pacers. I'm not Pacers. The, um, Jazz. I didn't expect the Jazz to be up 3 1. Yeah, I didn't. I thought it was only to be 2 2. I thought it was going to go 7, but I, I, I thought so, yeah. I thought it'd be close, but not Donovan that. Donovan could, Mitchell. But... Donovan Mitchell is kicking ass and taking names. I don't. I think it's Donovan, but I also think Mike Jokic Conley. not fucking showing up is a big issue. Oh, that too. Yeah. Like, how do you sit yeah. outside of the post for. The whole game is just shoot jump shots. Yeah, not going that's in. what Anthony Those Davis did game one. And that's, that's the exact, and they lost. That's exactly the same thing Anthony Davis did. I was like, if you don't take your big ass to the motherfucking middle. Embiid, same thing. Yeah, I, I said that right now, too. Embiid, Embiid did not want to be on the inside the whole series. And, and that's the reason why they brought him up. And it was, who's guarding him? But Thais. Thais, He hit a couple of threes. He hit some crucial threes. I was like, ah, these niggas about to lose it. This nigga hit a three. It's over. But that's the thing. That's why I say, if you get somebody like... um. Like a Mark Jackson or somebody, like a Jay Kidd, well, who somebody, deserves a fucking job, who God has like damn. old school mentality. Mark Jackson, you can go to the bro, it can make you understand the game mm-hmm. and be like Joel, bro. Give me twenty in the post and then give me nine from the free, like from the three or something. And like I feel like he'll break it down good to him. And that's he what I'm saying. Bash his head yeah. in, you know. That's what, what I'm mean? saying. Mike D'Antoni's not gonna give you that though. He's Mike not. D'Antoni's just gonna be like, man, Run. sit your ass right there and shoot a three. And that's not mm-hmm. even if you paid if people pay attention. Like a year, two years ago, he said, "I feel more comfortable in the post to start off than moving out." Brett Brown was trying to make him stay on the outside and work his way inside. So that's that's what I'm because saying. Simmons can't shoot. So right. So, but even that's what I'm saying. Even if you keep them together, you have to get the coach that understands, like especially a winning coach, a championship type coach that can sit here and tell you, "Hey, we can still play the same way y'all want to play. We just got to play at this pace or yeah. slow it down or mm-hmm. speed it up right here." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what he's saying though, that did make sense. Sim, the way Embiid wants to play doesn't work with the way Simmons plays because no, he yeah. can't go inside can't out. Because when you go that's out, I'm saying you have to have him run to go back with Antony and look for shooters well, on that's the outside. Why Simmons got to learn to either to take a mid range. He has to learn a mid. He, he has so. to learn to shoot, or he's got to become um, somebody's Andre Miller. Period. Yeah, exactly. Where you just control the game and you yep. go inside. You're not the ball handles and shit. You're just, you're just yeah. you're setting it up. Yeah. So I mean, that's the that's what he has to come down to. Now, if he gets traded or they get traded, then it's so fucking crazy to me it. that a point guard in this day and age cannot shoot three pointers. Like, what the? It's fuck, not even bro, that. You just can't shoot in general. Real. He doesn't have to shoot a three. Just shoot the fucking ball. Yeah. You step if you feel like if the three the line makes that much of a difference. Step in front of that motherfucker. Just shoot it, bro. Just, just, yeah, yeah. Just sad, shoot. Bro. He doesn't shoot. Fucking sad. See now, but the thing is, like, like you said, step in front or whatever. That's how I was taught. Like you just shoot the ball wherever, like mid range, whatever. Yeah. The way that it's taught now for a lot of people, it's layup, 
uh, elbow, three. That's it. Stupid analytics. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, what? No, they don't, yeah, they don't yeah. want you to step stupid in. Analytics. They don't want you to shoot fucking nerds. between the three-pointer and the fucking free throw line. They want that's you to literally a free throw, elbow shot, three-point, or layup. And that's the only thing that they want you to do. I shoot right there at the motherfucking mid, right there at the free throw, the little corners of the free throw. That was my and that's I, why I lived say, there. I swear mean, to God, I lived are there. Are you open? Shoot it. Yeah. If somebody right. will come in back in this league or one of these teams soon and go back to <laughs> hitting twos instead of threes, and these other teams start shooting these threes and they not making so like what Houston hit thirty the other day. So that's I mean that's a big thing about Houston. Number, CP3 geez, boy buzzer. Yeah. Hey. Killer. I figured that was gonna be a good series, but hey, bro, do you, can you believe that's good. They came back from two oh wash, bro. They came back from two oh. Russ is pissed because guess bro. what? Guess what? Russ is going to have to play next game. He does. He, he really thought he was about to like, oh, I'm about to sit out the first round and to. be straight. And which everybody thought after going up 2-0, mm-hmm. like Houston, they don't lose this. They might lose the first one and then go on and win three, three or four to one. Back. Who you got, Houston? Oh, yeah, you got Houston. Who you got, Jay? Yeah, don't ask dumb I'll questions. Houston. Yeah, but, God, I said, okay, see, but I don't, I'm not too sure. What? What? Change your I mind. I don't remember. <laughs> well, I'm not. It's two two. I think I had. I think I had Houston in seven though. But they're not even a fully loaded Houston. Or six. I don't remember. But That's I got the, him in six. Shit happens. Rest is gonna play. But I, I had OKC winning one series. I think one it was series be or one game. So this one. Then. Yeah. This so one. You, you're crazy. I mean, I figured because not too sure what I couldn't do it. If you really, if you really look about it, like obviously OKC don't have the shooters. That Houston has, but like it's as far just the as style like, of play so different. Talent yeah. wise, like as far as talent wise, matchup wise, they kind of match up well with Houston. They like, do. They, they do. They got a lot of athletic wings and Steven shit. Steven Adams just need to get in that fucking block, bro. But I don't That's think Russ. I don't think CP3 can guard Russ. I think he's gonna bully him all day. You think Russ can guard CP3? Yeah, I mean, not to nope. the not to the, the extent where he's gonna stop him because CP3 is a freaking man. So, he's a technical genius. People said he's washed, bro. That I don't blows think, my fucking mind. He's not washed because he's not a scoring point guard. CP3, like that. I don't think washed. CP3 guards Westbrook like that. I think uh, that's funny as fuck. Shit gives some Alexander on him, or uh, yeah, or you bring one of like Ferguson well, or somebody. Just came back, uh, Tony who? or Andre Roberson. But if you yeah. don't put him yeah, on, yeah, if you don't put CP3 on the one, he drop him all the way down to the three because you're not gonna put him on Harden, right? Which is okay. Covington. No, Colvin is playing the four. It's, three, it's, 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 Gordon. it's because it's Gordon? when OKC runs yeah. the three guard set, I like that. That'd be better for them. It's Schroeder, Shea, and Chris. So when they run the three guard set, they could switch with Houston because they're small too. That's why I said they have the none definitely. of those three niggas can guard number zero. But it doesn't. Okay, so let me say so something. No one for can me, guard thirteen guard... either. Will you exactly. just match up with them? Yeah, you, you're gonna get your shot. You just as long as you don't waste Chris Paul guarding yeah. those guys. Okay, so yeah. you. So they don't get tired. Here's the issue though with with number zero and Westbrook, which I, I I'm a Westbrook friend. There's not a lot of people who guard zero. Will Westbrook beats his own self sometimes. Nine, a lot of times. Zero is guarded zero. I know. Yeah, zero is guarded zero. You already know he's about to be intense in this matchup when he comes back. If you can get his, and CP talks to shit, if he can get CP can get in his head and tell him he can't shoot no jump shots and all that, and he yeah, forces Russ to shoot no jumps, three. it's a wrap. High key, that's the reason why they lost to fucking um, Portland last year. Dame got in his head too much. And then he busted his ass. So that's what happens. Dude, Chris, regardless what happens, I'm fucking super proud of Chris. The way he's playing, killing this shit. Like fucking, I, like I'm saying, people say he's washed. Bro. How many more years do you think he got? I say he got like a good three. He got, he got three. Doing what? Playing basketball. Do, doing this? <laughs> I didn't say that. I know that part, but doing what? Like doing, being uh, the same dominant self for another Doing this, he got yeah. two. He got two after this. He got two. Like and then he's going to be like a Rajon Rondo type oh, of point God. guard this last that. year. <laughs> Watch that happen. No, I, don't I, say that shit. I, I think he got one more year. When? A solid. You know, like, him being like, I'm going to be 28 and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Then I think he falls off to being. Did he give you twenty eight? Well, I'm not twenty eight, but let's say twenty four. Like shit. Something like that. But let's. But I'm saying he can get those big games and stuff. I think it'll be all right. But I think after that he starts looking for mentorship, finding a championship team where he. Yeah. Went, it's so where funny because I, I, I can imagine. I thought that's what he was doing in OKC. I don't know if he goes back to. Oh yeah, he can. Cause yeah, imagine he goes back to the ownership. Clippers? Yeah. I don't see it. I, think that I don't really see a lot. Yeah, that's a shit, but it's a different bro. ownership though. That's a shit. Yeah, he was on the Steve Ballmer. I mean, he was on the. Uh, he was, I thought he got traded after. Um, uh, yeah, but Steve Ballmer came in and had and changed up the whole Sterling. thing. Yeah, but he Steve Ballmer wanted well, to get Chris rid didn't of want to change, be there either. People, change, he wanted to change up the whole thing because he didn't want nothing to do with Sterling. I thought him and Blake Griffin had problems. Well, they did. Blake, that's what I'm saying. So, but they were going to pick Chris over him anyway. So, yeah, he can come back. I wouldn't, but I mean. I don't think I would back to Clippers. I wouldn't. I don't think it it depends on the other team. I don't see it. And I don't think it's a championship because, yeah, playoff P, 
is Pandemic hey. P. Oh, man. I don't hear none of that terrible shit. Right now, yeah, man. he is he's looking bad. bad. I think his shoulder's but, bad, bro. He's icing that shit. I don't, don't think it's over. I don't think it's that. I think it's, his, I think it's his mentality, and he's just trying to blame it on his shoulder. He I don't just think it's that can't either. fucking shoot. But it's like he said, though. He he does more than score. This is you know what I mean. But that's not the problem. I mean, that's the problem because but he is getting fucking you guys. You guys are on the whole. Who's he guarding? He was guarding on that last one. He wasn't guarding. See, he uh, Reggie score, Jackson was guarding. Well, Tim Hardaway. Not, I, I think he's, uh, he's guarding Tim Hardaway. See, not, I think Paul George not is not stopping Luca. The biggest issue with Paul George, man, I don't think it's his shoulder. I don't think it's none of that. I, he just ain't there, man. Like it's it's mentally, it's just he got other things going. That and and the fact that they never played, they never practiced together. That's what I said. I said People that's the biggest problem. That, uh, Doc Rivers was like quiet and. Paul George like never practiced together before the season. Like when the season was playing before all and this. And Doc Rivers is a system coach, so and you got to get he lets you kind of do. This. And I think sometimes if you don't buy in or you can't, you don't have the same chemistry. You can't always find that shit on the court. Well, sometimes no one ever said this the whole year. No, it's been reported. It's I been on there. And well, nothing bad. I never heard anything bad about the Clippers. About the Clippers. Oh, no. This been on there. They lose a game. Our season. Well, because they were trying to hype up. <laughs> <U-S-S-S-> <laughs> you know that we got sixteen <laughs> championships. The they got zero. Game. Our season's over. But <laughs> knees wrong with the Lakers. But they're not in trouble, <laughs> right? Who? 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 Y- y'all agree they're not in trouble. Who? Right? Who? Clippers. Yes, the niggas are in big trouble. Listen, they lost yesterday, Eddie. If they're in trouble, then you guys are in trouble. Yeah, the fuck right. Because last time I checked, they're tied up. What's the what's the record? Two two, right? And what's the Lakers record? Oh, but one, right? I don't hear none guys. of that shit. Who hit the game sh- when it shot? Luca. K- Luca. AKA, with no KP. AKA <laughs> Baby Kobe. No, don't <laughs> say that. With no KP. Don't hey. fucking say it. God you damn it. You know Jason? that series could be Why'd you say that? You know that series could be 3 1 Dallas hey. right now. It really should be 3 1 Dallas. It really should. You think it should? It KP, been, if KP, KP doesn't been, get ejected the first game, they win that one. Clippers will give them the second one because so, whatever. Okay, so you got Dallas. Yes. Well, I, I'm, I'm praying for Dallas. I'm got, praying for I Dallas. Clippers. I mean, I'm still gonna take the Clippers. Yeah, in reality, the Clippers are gonna win. That's what I'm saying. But, they're, so but they down. are in trouble. though. Yes, they're in big trouble because oh, they hit the panic. Paul, I think if Paul, they get Paul past George this series, is going down, they'll be cool. No, if they get past the series, they're in bigger trouble. I just think it's the Who chemistry. The chemistry Utah. showing up, like you said, the chemistry they problems are showing up. No, we would get. Uh, we still got uh, OKC, y'all got Houston. Houston. Y'all got Houston or OKC. No, because if no, because Utah would be the what. That would be the six, but they played the three. We always get the lower. Or we would get you get the the, the lower seed. Yeah, but it doesn't work t- like that. They don't switch it. You just that's how it's bracketed. You get the they take their spot. Yeah, technically, because you, you don't never think the about the lower team. Already. You don't think about the, the lower right. team so winning. You always just think about the higher team the four winning. Four and five, so that would be um, uh, yeah, Houston. Yeah. That'd be Houston. Yeah. I mean, I think we're beating them anyways. But I'm saying I I hope. I mean, I think we would be. I just Utah. think the Clippers should. I think they're going to lose. Casey. <laughs> this, uh, so well, let you, me, yeah, you would love that. Take but... <laughs> let me tell you why the Clippers lose. One, they're not in the bubble. I mean, they're not at home in the way. So they're they're in the bubble. That's what I mean. <laughs> so there's no home and away advantage. That's so it's, it's straight up basketball. Two, they lost a game that they should have won, which is crucial in playoffs because KP he had knee soreness. The nigga didn't get hurt or nothing. His knee was hurting. Dallas deferred that game. They were like, fuck it. We're just going to take this L. And they still won. No. KP comes back. They go up 3-2. Watch it. Did you next they week. exaggerate the injuries? So next game, yeah. who you, next game, who you got? I got, I got Dallas Luka. winning again. And then uh, then I got LA that's, that's losing the last baby one. Kobe. You see that? The best oh player went out. Oh, my God. Don't say that, bro. Stepped up. Don't say that. Mamba mentality. Mamba mentality. mentality. And he was playing like hey, ass at the beginning. Wait. And he Kobe told Spanish. you, can we wait? Can wait a couple years, years, man. God, Kobe told you his fair play was. He told you his fair play was. But we gotta give, we gotta give credit where credit's due. Trey Burke and Hardaway stepped up. Trey yeah, they, Burke they, stepped up. Fucking huge. Dame is the closest. To okay, so Kobe. no, the fuck okay. he's not. You think yes, he's the closest? Yes. I ain't never fucking seen Kobe just start shooting for front half court. Kobe go get his buckets any way he wants yes, to. Rush shoot threes. He Sometimes no. He definitely <laughs> has. He definitely has that mentality. I give you that. He has a mentality the most out of everybody in the league. Since we're getting into this real quick, let me go ahead and throw this out here. Go ahead, Russell, throw that in this. there. Russell Westbrook. I got <laughs> Russell, the, the mentality. Yeah, I got Lakers losing tonight, and I said this before the series, before the Mamba shit. What is wrong with him? I got. This is when you fall. I had us losing. <laughs> hey, I had us losing the first game. We went two in a row. We lose and we we close out five and six. That's what I had it, and I'm sticking to that. I can see them closing out on the road. Let me hear from y'all. <laughs> let me hear from y'all first because y'all know. Who you? What you got? I had six. That's how I had my I six. Got, I mean, that what was, you got tonight, that and then what you good, got to finish it. I, I like I said, I got Lakers in five because so. we were recording on Monday. So, so he's saying they, they close out. Tonight. So he's, they closed. We done Wednesday. We about to watch it as a family. And who you got? 
I got this one. I got, I got Lakers winning tonight. Tonight, losing same, the next one, here. and then they win in the six, four two. If they win tonight, they have a chance to win in the next one, maybe unless Portland. I think Portland plays a lot better. Like that, that they're, win, they're winning. In. They're closing it out Wednesday. Tonight, you got them losing. No, because then they, they can't win in five if they lose today. <laughs> oh, I got Dame five. I'm going sure. off for like 50. I'm sure. That's why I got. In a L. I, I don't care. I got, got Dame going off tonight. Because how many, how many points? Point, a question. How you many points did, you, you know want. what I'm saying? How many points did Jamal Murray have? 50? Yeah. In a L. You know? The other issue to that, though, is you know we lose every time we talk about Kobe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the other reason why we got that shit. They don't care about all that. All, the, all they have to do, the two big guys just have to do what they have, um, LeBron and yeah, AD, I do agree. what they have to do, and then two guys, oh, doesn't matter, God. any two guys fucking step up. All right. Now uh, and now we're on it. Okay. And <laughs> KCP and Danny Green two cannot guys, I don't care do who it is. what hey, they hold do. Up, hold up. Can <laughs> y'all stop hating on Danny Green, bro? He's fucking trash. shit, bro. He is pressing up on the defense He's to trash. make Dame work. It doesn't matter, no, no, no. bro. We got we, him for the defense. Are we talking about Danny Green from the Lakers? You know, we're talking about Danny Green from the Lakers. Danny Green, Laker fans hate on Danny Green, bro. Not me, not me. No, our defense has been the reason why we've been winning. Danny Green's pushing up. And that's the main reason why we got Danny Green. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is true. Oh, Danny Green is but exhausted, bro. Danny Green and KCP are the reason why Portland stays close in games because they go down there to play good defense well, and, and they go down and KCP. they shoot a bullshit shot. <laughs> they shoot a bullshit shot and they miss. And that's a wasted possession. KCP showed up in game two. KCP. Game two. Yeah. And, tell you yeah. and then he left points, again or? in game three. Well, 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 that's why I said two guys. <laughs> Brian told him, man. I don't care who it is. He showed up in game two and then he better. got that same bust in game three that he got in game one. Two separate guys. He wasn't fucking there. Hold up. Your guys' defense is pushing up on the guards. Because you already know. Because what right. does he do? He steps in front of the line and shoots. Yeah. That's, uh, what, that's why Danny Green's what did doing you predict? good. He's exhausted. What huh? was your prediction? I know you're picking Portland. But uh, Portland in seven. So you got to win it tonight. Or are you losing? Yeah, they're winning tonight. So ties. It's Mamba Day. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking. Hey, I'm just making sure. Yeah. Man. There's no one on the court more like Kobe's mentality than Dame. No, that's not no true. Nobody. Well, on that court, nobody yeah. On that court, on that court, yeah. Dame's mentality. You know what I'm saying? Right. On that court, yeah. Court, yeah. Right, court, still lose yeah. the game. Nah, they won't lose. LeBron definitely ain't got it. Sorry, Dame's look not. what happened. Dame came out firing. The, 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 and we still. He just figured out he can't shoot that far. You seen? So, so what does he do? Take it to the paint with those. And they gave, they gave Melo too much. Let me see. Let me they tell you. They gave Melo too much. That he tried to take it to the paint. What happened? Yeah, that's David what he said. Yeah. You guys have your center on top every single time. I don't understand why they don't back screen the center and have the guards come down. Because the problem is when the guards get to the rim, your guys' is bigs are big. meeting them there. Yeah, that's so if the you point. screen the top forward or the top center, your guards will be wide open. That's why I don't understand what they're doing. No, listen. Nurkic was getting tired and... Uh, Let's go back to the room. Listen, listen, not in shape. Yeah, they tried that. They tried that. You didn't see game one, Caruso was running around the motherfuckers the whole time, slipping and falling off. That's what they... They tried that. Mm. That shit didn't work because now motherfuckers... Caruso's trying They're not making just, shots. You know, you know what I'm saying? The Lakers already know they can't beat us on the inside, so we're going to play can't. the fuck up. I even they run, especially we're when, running through screens. That that that. What do you mean? They still have white side stuff. Nah, they're still but, killing but, them. On the but you need a four to run with Davis. They don't have a four to if run with Davis. If you're Portland, no you go back Ooh, to the pick, say that? You go back to high pick and roll. Like a month no, ago? Zach Collins is supposed to be playing. But he you just got hurt. Everybody was supposed to be playing, but the bubble. I don't want to hear that shit. That's how that's how life works. So you want to bring up Ariza and Rodney Hood now too? Ariza not Ariza and Rodney Hood aren't better than Avery Bradley. And they don't. They're not as more important than Avery Bradley. What did you say? They would have been. Jason, get what your man. Bro. They're not better not, as an individual. Man, they're not better than Avery Bradley. Get your they're man, not bro. as important as Avery Bradley is to the Lakers. Avery Bradley, they're not bro. as important get to the Trailblazers. If I had to choose between Avery Bradley and Ronnie Hood, not hurt. Ronnie Hood, I'm taking Ronnie Hood. Ten out of ten. I love Avery Bradley, but Hell no. the thing is, what do you Hell have no. to do? Because yeah, because Rodney Hood he playing too. defense. No, because Rodney no, Hood, he, he, no, he no. can score sometimes, but Rodney Hood is Bradley not consistent. Defense. He is I don't not need consistent. Him to be my second scorer. I need him to be the four scorer on the squad, Fifth just like option. I need fucking Avery Bradley can Morris do. He does the same score. thing. Just like and I need, then no, Avery Bradley is my defender. Hold on, you gonna put Rodney Hood as your point guard? You putting him as your point guard? No, I don't need him as my point guard. Exactly. Avery Bradley's going to be my defender because you know what? The West is oh, ran saying, is by guard point guards. Guard? The West is ran by point guards. So I'm going, I want a good point guard on my team. I don't want no you just want average Joe. defensive Wait, point guard on And who is that? Who is egg fucking Zachary? Okay, the West okay, is okay but we're talking about guards. the fours. If Portland got a matchup with the Lakers, they got to have somebody to go with LeBron besides Melo. You would have Ronnie Hood. I'm telling you this. And Ariza. Avery Bradley. A big Avery, difference. Avery Bradley, it's... 
he helps way more than fucking Rodney Hood and Trevor Ariza because Ron is still running through both of them. No, no they don't. He's yeah. running through both of them. No, no. Outside of the outside of Steph Curry in the West, what point guard got a championship? It don't matter. They're still good. Damian Lillard's good. West. Russell Westbrook's good. Chris Paul's good. Steph Curry's good. Those are not all dominant point guards, and they're all in the West. Steph Curry, Rajon Rondo. What I'm saying is, you can have a you can have a Westbrook. Say that too, I was you like, can have a like, fucking <laughs> Steph. I mean, uh, James Harden. You can have the, all that. You didn't win a championship. Teams that won championship, aka Kyrie Irving, got his one. That don't count. Miami didn't have a dominant point guard. You can't you can't count Kyrie Irving when he fucking no. suited up with LeBron James. Everybody's said, gonna listen, fucking that's win with LeBron James. That's <laughs> what I said. I said, but that's one point guard that and, you were saying is a top point guard. Yeah, no, 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 no Miami, I said in the West. Was, I didn't say Kyrie because he's in the East. Okay, even in the West, who's won? And who's been winning? Lakers didn't have one. Yeah, Rondo. When the win the championship, the Lakers haven't had a dominant have point guard since, like since Magic Johnson. Exactly, Johnson. exactly. What I'm saying they is, haven't had a dominant point guard. Okay, well, in answer this. Then. Answer this. I don't need a dominant. When's the point last guard, time somebody point. won? In the, listen, listen. When's the last time somebody won in the West that didn't have a dominant point guard? You guys, the Lakers and the Spurs. You guys with the well, triangle offense. And the Lakers. And the Lakers. And the, Lakers. And the, Spurs. the Lakers. And the Spurs. 2012. Tony Parker. But that Tony is Parker's eight, eight years. Point year. CP was he's better than eight that. Eight years. Year. My daughter wasn't even fucking born yet. That was the last time they, they had a fucking a, a non-dominant point guard in the West that won a championship. Oh, That's because the East has eight been winning. Eight years. Ooh. You only had the San Antonio. You only had uh, the East has been winning. You only had St- uh, Golden State. The East has been. That's winning. what you just said. No, the West is still been motherfucking winning because okay, let's, let's go after that. The past ten years is uh, Spurs. The Heat twice. Miami. No, the past ten years. The Heat twice. It's been the West most. Cleveland years. once. Exactly. That's three out of seven. Yeah, Toronto. it has been Toronto. The West. Toronto. Four. Right. And so it's then, still so the West. Six. six out of four. So what? Are you, what is your argument? So then, uh, how many does Golden State have? Three, right? Yes. And who was the other West team? Um, shit, we're going to have to really Mavericks. go back. The Mavs. Mavericks won after, uh, they won in I mean, before. They won oh, yeah, that was yeah they won it with Bron- oh, against Bronze. That's so. 2010, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, who, was the, who was the point guard? Jason Kidd. And he wasn't Hall dominant. Like, he wasn't dominant. <laughs> yeah, he was his time was over. He's not the same he fucking Hall of Fame. Okay, Kidd. hold on, hold on, so hold, hold, hold on. No, no, no. Obviously, he wasn't the Jason okay. Kidd, but he had the he was the no, dominant he's point guard. He's, he's a dominant, dominant point guard. He was he set the tone. Yeah. You now, know what I'm saying? He was not dominant. He was setting the tone. And then and then and then they put in JJ Barea to come in and run you out and get you tired. And then here comes Jason Kidd and sets the tone. man that's a Hall of Famer by the name Dirk Nowinski. I don't. I'm, I'm just saying. German? I'm not saying Dirk <laughs> didn't do his shit, but there was a still a dominant point guard still running shit. Time. Is that the best European ever? Huh? Is that the best European? No, the ever? best European is still coming. <sighs> you Luka? see that man? Luca is the best European. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Already you, you're you, throwing him over. Listen, Dirk? no, no. Listen no, no, to no, what I'm about to tell you. You can see it. I said I'd this. I like to wait. I said this two weeks ago. That's what I'm telling them. I said this two weeks ago. Remember what I said? He's gonna be the most decorated basketball player. Ever. You got to understand. Guaranteed it. Luca is Luka. 20. Oh, didn't say the one. best. Most decorated. He's, he's going to have a European championship. Uh-huh. He's going to have an NBA championship. He's going to have an Olympic championship. Yes. Oh, he's like going to have MVP. I'm telling you, he's going to do that. He's 21. He's been playing pro ball him. since 16. You know the funny? nigga left house to play we pro know ball he's good, at 12 years, give years old. Over Dirk? He was a kid. Talk 12 years old. You know what I was doing at 12 years old? Fuck so for two. Except MVP. But he has all those. But he does. Pakistan is a fucking Hall of Famer. I think Pakistan is the second best European. Behind oh, Dirk, yeah, I do too. But yeah, I, give it to Luca. I'm just, not saying Luca yet, yeah, but I said, what saying. but what I said, he's huh? still the so time. Where's Ginobili at? Three. I'm taking Ginobili over. Uh, what's his name? Paul Gasol. Oh no, 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 no. He, no, has, no, more no, no. he has more rings than Pal. Pal Gasol is your second option. He has more rings than Pal. Gave you the real. So was Tony Parker? Do you take Tony Parker over Pal? He did. No. Nah, but Tony no. Parker wasn't as valuable as Pal. Tony Parker was very valuable. Tony Parker was a Finals MVP. What you mean? Ginobili was a six man. But he yeah, was the he best at it. He was great. Dude. He was the best at it. <laughs> no, I, no, I, you know, he was good, but I I'm, not him, Ginobili. I'm not taking him over Powell. Not are Ginobili. you taking him over? Yeah, are you taking him? Are you taking Parker over Ginobili? You're not taking over Powell because he's a Laker? He was a Laker? He won with the Lakers. No, I knew that's why. <laughs> that's I'm not taking him. That, no, I knew that. Are you part. taking Parker over Ginobili? <laughs> yeah. He's a finals MVP. You think Parker over Ginobili? He's a fin- Oh, no, wait. Fuck, no. I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to think about that one. I'd have to look at the numbers. I would have to really hey. think about that one. I feel like you guys think Parker just was nobody love, or something. I love nah, the year saying that, bro. But Ginobili was that guy. I know he was. Even Kobe said uh, I mean, I'm probably forgetting like the other guy. Europeans, but... August 25th, Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's way a lot more. Luca. Luca, yeah. I mean, I think Luca is going to go mean, down as the best more, European. At least ten more years. Hey, this is random as hell. But would you take if y'all was healthy? Would you take y'all over Dirk? 
if he stood healthy. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were saying y'all. I, I was like, y'all who? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty healthy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, y'all probably would have got you a ring. Yeah, I would have so been one. Nah. I, he Man, might have I don't been know. top he five. He was twenty five and ten. He was big. He says he gave him. He was twenty five. He was big, like, but he wasn't really good at the scoring part. Yes, he, he was. was. He averaged twenty no. something points a game. He could shoot a three. He was. He could shoot. Y'all could play, bro. He could play defense. He could play. Play. Oh. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. He shot free throws like ninety nine percent. Listen, 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 listen. He was like the best big man shooter when Yao did this. Yao was at the rim. Yao was not a really good okay. score. No, he he had. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And he had a jump Wait. shot. You All can't right. show me a, too many clips where Power was backing down people and dunking on him. He would give you a jump hook. Well, that's he's a different a, game. He's shooting a fucking shot. Power was Powell's I'm, a not Powell, excuse me, I'm not Power. I mean, yeah, yeah, I was doing that. Power was. I mean, y'all wasn't backing motherfuckers down and yamming on them and shit like that. Man, he's a center. He was able he to had do a, a little he's bit. A center. Uh, and he listen, didn't do no center thing. Listen, there's a lot <laughs> of. Good, okay, he was a center and didn't do no center thing. He, was, he, he, he played was, basketball. He, he was good. Bro. He was a double. If he was healthy, he was if he was healthy, yeah. Jr. Smith got probably think, more dunk ons than Yao Ming. Dirk. Over oh, for Dirk, sure. All right then. He's not. I don't know. He got blocked by fucking Nate Robinson. Dirk has that fade away. Come on, bro. Let's be honest. I don't know if he could lead a team though. Let's be honest. Because you can't say like, okay, now. Now, let's say yeah, this. Play. If you take a couple inches off of Yao, will Yao still do the Just same thing? Just because he got blocked by something doesn't mean he wasn't If, if, yeah, if Yao was 6'10", would Yao okay, be so that? Let's, like let's put it like this. I line up Yao. I line up um, Sean Bradley. I am like Greg Mirasan. I line up Bobo um, and all that. I get what you're trying to say. Seven footers. You, those big no, boys. I'm talking about seven three. Over seven. Over seven. seven three. Easy. Okay, I get what you're saying. But I mean, yeah, that wasn't difficult. Yeah, but let's be honest, though. Seven three feet people are not really that good no, no, in no. NBA. What I'm, Let's be honest. Listen, he shit. was. There's a dude. I'm sorry to say his name is dude, but then Keith Claus. He used to play for the Clippers. He's like seven three. Trash. Oh god. You know what I'm saying? Trash. You know. But I'm saying. <laughs> Sean, what I'm saying is like Sean Bradley is, is you back somebody down like he's in the post and he just gets and he just turns. He didn't have nothing. Yeah. I'm saying yeah, I mean could actually give you a little bit of something. Okay, I get what just you're saying. Like, it's because oh, it's mom and dad. Thing. Fucking late. Just shit. like I ain't gonna sit here lying. I'm a big fan. I've always been a big fan. Hey, Boban can really play a little bit. Yeah. I didn't realize he yes. was just, yeah, he, actually has, no, yeah, he, he got play, little, yeah. he actually got like footwork. He's, like, just, yeah. he's so big. I, I didn't realize that. I was like, people are clumsy. That's all so it like, is, really. You think he's good? Yao was much better. Yeah, Yao was much Easy. better, bro. I think Mal, yeah, I think Yao's better than Boban. But, anyways, but like like you said, in that point of view, as them seven three, yeah, he's he he's got, he number had one. everything. He's number one he when it's seven three plus. But it just as an NBA basketball player, he's not one of my top centers. I'm gonna tell you that right oh, now. No, I'm not because no, no, my top five. Anyway, we gotta, have we gotta close career. it because yeah. But fucking uh, <laughs> let's close it on um, Mamba Day. What y'all got? What y'all got to say about Mamba Day? Um, so I ain't got shit to say. I'll be I'll be letting you know. Go check out my Twitter tonight. I'll be letting you know how I feel about Mamba Day in a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jay? Hey man, I'm excited. You know, Kobe my he's my goat or. In my top three, I should say. And he got the street Figueroa yeah. in LA named after him. Yeah, for y'all that don't know in LA, that's a big fucking time name street. So yeah, fucking for definitely. Kobe to get that, that's what I deserve, bro. That's, that's what's up for real. No, definitely. He deserve that shit. Man, we got to go out there with a win or play our, I just want to win, really, but I don't see it happening. Yeah. Just, right. just based on all that, but you know. Oh, yeah. It sucks, Kobe, man. man. I wish he was here, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, I, yeah, nice. That Hall of Fame thing going to kill me. Oh, oh bro, I'm getting sad right now I'm thinking crying. about it, man. Kobe yeah. meant so much to me, especially like after this this year. And damn, man, it's been difficult for me personally. I just wanted, so I want to hear crazy. his monotone ass speech at the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I know, dude. He would have talked so much shit, man. I, I would have. I don't him. think he would have Michael Jordan did. <laughs> no, I know. No, no, he would have had fun with it. You know, Kobe, man. I think he would have talking shit about his high school coach. Mm. Hey, he, I think low key he would do that like, in there just because that's jobs. Kobe. You know, yeah, what I mean? that's just him. Sure. No, but I'm saying I think he would. That's just him. Like he, yeah. he's seen it. Michael did it, so everybody compare him. I can it. see him doing that. Just a, that's his big brother, bro. Yeah. For everybody that thinks they hated each other, that that was that was Kobe. Mike was Kobe's big brother. So, well, quick predictions before we get on next round. Uh, we got Lakers, uh, Rockets. I got Lakers winning probably five. Then I got um, Dem not Denver, Houston, or uh, Utah Jazz and um, Clippers. I got Clippers in five, six. Then I got uh, Toronto and Boston. I got Boston in seven. I got fuck it. I'm going Miami in seven. In seven? Yeah. I got a okay. Oh shit! Man. Well, you, you said Lakers. Lakers, Lakers Rockets. Rockets. Are you going Lakers? I'm gonna OKC? go Lakers. Okay, see, um, Lakers 
five. And then the next round would be. I think at Utah. Utah. I don't want to uh, give up on Denver because I said Denver. But. <laughs> so you got Denver, Denver, the Clippers then. But I, oh, you did say Denver, huh? Or Denver, Dallas. So you look at that. <laughs> yeah, you got a hard I'm one right here because you don't even know where you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. Yeah, I'll go Utah versus the Clippers. Clippers in six. Boston, Toronto. <laughs> Toronto in six. In six? And then you got. And um, then Milwaukee versus the Heat. Yeah. yeah. That goes seven. Here you go. I'll go Milwaukee. Okay. Who was it? It was uh, Lakers. Da- Lakers. I got Portland. <laughs> Fuck all the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all the bullshit. I'm trying to sneak it in here. The Lakers. <laughs> Melo is fucking balling. Hold up. Um, Can we give Melo respect, man? He hasn't got respect, especially from you. Because he ain't getting oh, it. I haven't seen his numbers. He's balling right now. His numbers, no, so no, def- even defensively, he's fucking playing Save great, Save the UFC dude. for after the show. Yes, man. <laughs> Yeah, he said especially. <laughs> especially. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you got Portland uh, Rockets or Portland Oakland? I got Portland in seven Oakland. against the Lakers. So who would they play? OKC, OKC or Houston? Houston? That's on you. Who do you think? Ooh, fucking shit! I want OKC to win, but I really think Houston's gonna pull it out with um, when Russ gets back. Okay, so who you got winning that? Portland and Houston. <sighs> Portland. And damn six. Okay. I just because I seen how they played when when Nurkic is He's actually playing good gas. and they're playing good. Okay. But yeah, that's the problem, man. Dang, Nurkic is just running out of gas. So is Nurkic. Yeah. So you got Clippers, Dallas versus uh, Clippers. Clippers. I, got, I got Clippers in six. Utah, Utah and, and then Utah, Utah yeah. and Denver. Yeah. Oh, Utah's gonna win that. And so then, and then they got Utah. Uh, Clippers. You saw Clippers in five. Clippers in five. Yeah, they get it done. They'll yeah. they'll, they'll get their chemistry going by, ne- by next round. Boston, Toronto, Boston. Boston in uh, six. And then you got... And look at me blasphemy when I said Toronto in six. <laughs> I said Boston in six. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, Richard's a guest. <laughs> <laughs> you got Milwaukee in the heat. <laughs> Milwaukee in the heat. Ooh, fuck. I think, I think Milwaukee's going to pull it out. But I want the heat to win. But if I didn't, I would say Milwaukee in seven. But I, I really want the heat to win. I think they got a chance, actually. Why isn't Miles Leonard playing? See, that's what... Because he didn't he take ne- a knee? He needs to... Uh, <laughs> I know, huh? I guess so. That's probably. why we have an Isaac. That's why though. Good job. Isaac, what's his name? You got to Isaac. Isaac yeah. You see what happened to him? So what you? He's like, I don't want to take that. <laughs> shit. He's like, fuck that. I'm going out. out. <laughs> hey, you know his jersey was number two selling. Yeah. What you got? Them racist motherfuckers. That's why. <sighs> I got um, Houston Lakers. Lakers in six. Sorry, Russ, but that's how life goes. Um, I got Utah. <laughs> Is it Utah? Clippers or Dallas? I got Utah Dallas. And I got if Utah Dallas make it. I got Dallas in, se- in seven, six or seven. And you got Dallas over the Clippers. I got Dallas over the Clippers. Yes, because they, they won without without KP. It tells me a lot. You Toronto, know Boston. KP is a baller. I got Boston in seven because Toronto is hell. They, I don't get how you guys think that ends in six. I don't see that Which ending one? in six. Boston and uh, and uh, fucking uh, I just Toronto. Think they got That's just gonna be back to and forth. It out, but then you got. Um, I mean, I think I got Miami over Milwaukee in, in seven. Miami over Milwaukee. They pull it out. That sounds good. Yeah, I, like you said, they don't have a strong two in two, uh, at Milwaukee. And fuck it, I'm gonna go with Miami too. Let's go. <laughs> I, I, Jimmy Butler is my boy, man. Let's get it. Fuck it. Fuck the bullshit. Yeah, it's a bubble. Let's see some shit. If that's the case, I got Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> Close this shit out. <laughs> uh, uh, that's another episode of Sports Dogs. Oh, once Jason. again. <laughs> For all you cool people out there who want to get your own podcast started, you know, hit us up. Let us know. So you can come down and you can uh, start one up at Productive Culture. Where's my paper, for one? I don't got my paper. You're supposed to freestyle this, man. Just hit us up. Hit up Higher Passion. And we're going to send you the right way. So you can get a discount. We can get a discount. And we all discount it for. That's it. Fuck this out there. Peace, y'all. That's all we got. Like a, like a follow and subscribe, please. Ooh.